We are having a really good weather outside and it's a perfect time to decorate outdoors. So I'm going to show you some really good DIY decor hacks that you can do on a budget. Welcome back to my channel, DIY Homemade Crafts. My name is Jess and I'm so happy to have you here today. And guys, as you may know, recently I posted a video about patio hacks that you guys love so much and asked me for more ideas and DIYs that you can do um, to decorate outdoors. So I decided to put together my top 10 DIY hacks that I made for patios and outdoors so that you guys can get more ideas of things that you can do on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies. So I really hope that you like it that you enjoyed today's video if you like it please give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support this channel and let me know in the comments which of these 10 ideas is one of your favorites make sure that you follow me on all my social media pages it's DIY by Jazz I'm going to leave you all of the links in the description box of this video and every single video and you can watch the other patio hacks video um, that I recently post I'm also going to leave you the link of that so yeah I hope that you are ready guys because I am let's DIY together I'm going to be using these floor mats. You can get these at Dollar Tree any season, anytime. They always have these. So I'm going to be using them. What I was not uh, like super happy about is that all of the edges are cut in like a round shape. So I'm going to be cutting all of the edges. I'm going to make my floor mat a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I just want to get out of those round edges and make sure that they look straight um, I'm going to be using two floor mats and I'm going to be measuring both of them to make sure that they are the exact same size Then I'm going to be sticking these two floor mats together on the back side and for that I'm going to be using just some duct tape and you can also add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that um, it stays stronger I'm going to cut just a little bit to make sure that they look straight and then it's time to add any design that you want on your floor mats. You can paint them, you can add a stencil, um, you have so many options. I think one of the cheapest and easiest way is to use just some tape. I get this blue one from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be adding these to the floor mats, creating like small squares that in the end they're going to look like small um, circles, but that's okay. I start to stick in them um, diagonally and then I did the same but in the opposite direction next it's time to paint these and I tried to paint this outside with um, some white spray paint but it didn't work I don't know why maybe it's because of the uh, material of these floor mats I don't know but it didn't get like the color of the spray paint so I decided to use some shock paint in white color and I paint one by one of these small squares and then I just let them dry and it works so much better once the paint is super dry you can remove all of the tape and I love this process um, and yeah this is how the floor mat ended up looking and I really like it I'm going to be putting this outside and I add this rope mat on top that I did a few months ago and this is how the project ended up looking I really like it I think it's going to add a really fun and nice touch on my outdoors For this project, I'm going to be using this bamboo wreath that I got from Dollar Tree and I found that you can get this into different sizes. I think this is the big one. And next, I'm going to be using these ferns that I also got from Dollar Tree and I really like them. They're from a really good quality. They look amazing. And also, they are made with a piece of wire in the center and that's very convenient. What I'm going to be doing is to cut the ferns and then I'm going to be sticking these inside of the wreath because 
this is a bamboo wreath it's super easy to do that um, and I'm going to be using about um, like 10 ferns that means only like two bushes um, from Dollar Tree um, so only two dollars so this project is going to turn out so inexpensive um, and I did the same in all of the wreath I um, accommodate the ferns making sure they look like a little bit curved and then I insert all of the ferns in my bamboo wreath and you can insert these inside of the bamboo wreath but you can also use hot glue or E6000 to make sure that all of the greenery is going to stick well and strong and it's not going anywhere once I stick those, I think my wreath needs to look a little bit more fuller. So I'm going to be using these other ferns. These ones are a little bit smaller, but I'm not sure if these ones are from Dollar Tree or from Walmart for only 98 cents or something like that. Um, but anyways, it's still less than $1. So, and that's great. So I use these to basically fulfill all of my wreath. Finally, I have these other ferns at home. I think they're so cute, so pretty. Um, so I decide to add those two to complete my wreath. So basically, I use three different ferns, um, but you can use maybe other um, type of greenery that you have and you like. I was just so excited to make a wreath out of ferns. Next, I decide to add a cute bow with this ribbon that I have at home, I think from, from the Christmas season. It's just white and black. Um, and I really like it, so I'm going to be making a bow and I'm going to add that in the top of the wreath and then I'm going to attach that with a piece of jute. You can make a small hoop on the back side of this wreath to be able to hang these anywhere and I decide to hang these on the um, door that I have on the backyard and I really like it I think it pop out really good with my orange door um, and I really like it it turned out so inexpensive and I think it looks so perfect now for summer and it is super easy to do Okay, next project and this is a really fun one and one of my favorites I'm going to be using these a tray you can get these at Dollar Tree you can use this one or any one that you have any tray that you have so I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to add some stain I decide to go with this color so I stain this outside and then let it dry very well I made a decal with my Cricut, uh, but you can do this same project using just paint. It's super easy. I just, I have the Cricut, so I decided to use it. And then you can use rock. I think this is perfect for outside because they have some weight and they look so nice outside. So I'm going to be adding zeros and X on the rocks. Um, so this is going to be like a tic-tac-toe game. You can put this on the table outside or you can also use this inside of the house. It's just a small and super cool game that anyone can play um, and trust me I put these outside like a few days ago and every time we go outside we just play these and it is super fun to do and so inexpensive using this one dollar tray from Dollar Tree For this next project, I'm going to be using this tote bag from Dollar Tree and I really, really like this. I think it's perfect now for summer. You can um, put so many things inside, but I want to add it um, a few things to make it look high end. So the first thing that I'm going to be using is this faux leather ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And I really like this. It's going to give it more texture to the tote bag. So I'm going to be adding these and I'm going to stick those strips with a little bit of hot glue. I'm 
I'm going to be doing the same thing in both sides of my tote bag and this is going to give it a really nice touch. Next, I decide to add something extra to the handles to make them look a little bit better. So for that, I'm going to be using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Now, um, you can get this nautical rope, it's super thick. Um, so I decided to unroll the rope and then um, use one of those parts of the rope to cover the handles. So I'm going to be twisting these all over the handles. You can add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that it sticks strong and this is super easy to do. It's gonna take you a couple minutes but it's super easy. With just one rope you're gonna be able to cover these handles um, and so many other things if you want. Now because of these is a plastic tote bag, um, the handles kind of like separate so I'm going to be adding just a piece of twine. I'm going to like make a bow to tie them together or you can add some hot glue if you want. Now you can use this for the core and I really like it. I love like that salmon color that the tote bag has. Now with all of these textures that I add, I put some greenery inside. You can add towels, a sunblock and this is perfect to have it on the backyard. It can be super useful or you can use it as a decor piece. Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using these two clear bowls that I get from Dollar Tree in the party section and I'm going to stick them together. So to stick them and make sure that they stick very strong and well, I'm going to be using E6000 glue and also I'm going to add um, hot glue just to make sure that it dries faster. I'm going to be sticking them this way and then um, I'm going to be painting them. You can use any color you want. I decided to go with black so I'm going to be using my spray paint in ultra matte black color. I'm going to paint these outside and then I'm going to let it dry very well. Once I paint these in black color, I decide that I want to add some texture to it. So for that, I'm going to be using nautical rope and I get this one from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be adding these on like two thirds of these piece. Um, I think it's going to look super nice. It's still going to have the black color and all of the design that the bowl has. Um, but I think the rope is going to add a really nice, um, interesting look. Once I stick the rope on the balls, this is how it's going to look and I really like it. Um, now it is time to add these stones that you can get from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add one back, then I'm going to be adding the Fancy Heat Wig. You can find this at Dollar Tree now that it's summer. And then I'm going to cover everything with more stones. I'm going to be putting this outside and it's perfect for the night to, um, I don't know, make s'mores and I think it looks so good I added to the top of the table but a really good idea is that you can make holes on the bowls on the bottom part to make sure that when rains all the water just go down and don't stay stuck in the bowls For the next DIY, I'm going to be using these um, frames that I got from Dollar Tree and they are so, so beautiful. I love the shape they have. Um, this is perfect to make so many like B DIY decor pieces. Um, but this time I'm going to be using these um, to make something a little bit different. I decided to got three from Dollar Tree and they have a black 
frame and I'm really happy with that so the first thing that I did was to separate um, like the back part the glass of the pieces of cardboard and paper that it has to be able to work only with the frames now that I remove all of those pieces it's time to attach and stick all of these frames together and for that I'm only going to be using a little bit of hot glue but you can use maybe 6000 or super glue to make it stronger Now that I have these, it's time to add a bottom part to be able to make this as a tray. Now I want to make the bottom part of the tray super cute and I found this placemat with this kind of like a tile design in these blue tones and I think this is just so so perfect now for summer. So I decide to use that, I draw the shape, then I cut it and then I'm going to stick that on the piece of cardboard. Now that I have that part ready, it's time to put this piece back to the um, frames. So I'm just going to be adding the screws that it needs. Now because this is a tray, I want it to be able to like grab these, so I'm going to be making two small handles with some rope. I cut two small pieces of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to be attaching them one to each side of the tray. Um, I use hot glue, but again you can use E6000 to make it stronger. Once I have my project ready, this is how it looks on my side table on my backyard and I really like it. I think it's so beautiful, so perfect to put some drinks on it or use it as a decor to add maybe like a jar and plants inside of this tray. I love the pattern that the placemat has and I think it looks perfect now for summer. For this next project, I'm going to be using this plastic rectangular planter that I got from Dollar Tree. First, I'm going to be removing the sticker it has and then I'm going to be painting these with this warm caramel spray paint color and then I'm going to let it dry. It comes in different colors, you can choose the color that you would like the most. But I got this spray paint a few weeks ago and I was excited to try it, so I paint this planter in that color. Next, I decide to give it a nice touch on the bottom part of this planter. I'm gonna go with some shock paint in black color and I'm going to paint the bottom part of the planter. If you want, you maybe can add a tape to make sure that the line um, is super straight, but that's up to you. And once I was done painting my planter, and this is how it looks. Now I want this planter to have like two hangers, so I decide to use my soldering tool to make two small holes on each side of my planter. And guys, I have been using this soldering tool for a long time, and I really like it. I'm going to leave you the link of this product in the description box of the video, just in case that you are interested. Now that I have the holes on my planter, I'm going to insert a small piece of rope and then make a knot to make sure that it's not going anywhere. You maybe can add some hot glue too. From there, I'm going to be using some wooden beads and I'm going to insert them through my rope and those are going to be the handles. I thought that this can be a really cool and fun and different idea for this planter. And I did the same thing on both sides of the planter and I'm going to leave you the link of the beads that I got in the description box of the video too. Now you can leave your planter just like this or you can add maybe some height. I decided to do that with four wooden beads um, I just stick them on the bottom part with some hot glue but maybe you can use a stronger glue and then you can leave them the natural wooden color like the handles or you can paint it in a black color like the bottom part of the planter. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I have that part ready, I'm going to start adding some moss. You can get moss from Dollar Tree. And then you can use these for real plants. Um, you maybe can add some herbs or you can use some faux ones, some flowers or greenery and just add them into your planter. For the next project, I'm going to be using these buckets that I get from Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm going to be painting these outside with my ultra black matte spray paint. Um, and then I'm going to let it dry. I paint these on the inside and on the outside. Remember that you can paint the bucket any color you want um, and then match with your outdoor um, decorations. Once the bucket is dry, I'll decide to add this leather, faux leather ribbon that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I really like these. I use this ribbon in so many other projects. And I think it looks perfect um, with the black color. So I'm going to be adding the ribbon on the top of the bucket. Super simple, super easy. Um, the bucket already has a design on the bottom. And I think it just looks super nice like that. So yeah, I decide to add stones on the bottom of the bucket just to make sure that I add some weight and then I add these it's kind of like faux grass that you can get at Dollar Tree I think it looks super nice and then I just add some moss on top um, to cover everything well you can add some holes on the bottom of the bucket just to make sure that when it rains all of the water can go down and don't stay stuck inside of the bucket I'm going to be using these mat that I got from Dollar Tree and I love making rugs so I decided to make one today and you're only going to need some rope from Dollar Tree and basically what I'm going to be doing is to stick the rope on the mat you can cut so many pieces in the same size and then you just have to stick them in a straight uh, line creating lines or you can stick them creating any shape maybe like an oval or something like that just to cover your mat I'm going to be doing these in this way because it's super easy and it's going to look amazing but as you can see I'm leaving um, some rope extra on the sides because this is going to add a nice touch at the end that you're going to see in just a few seconds okay once I cover my mat completely with the rope I'm going to be adding an extra detail you don't need to do these but I think it works so well on my mat because I'm going to be basically like sewing the sides of the rock with some ute I'm going to be adding these ute on the edge of the rock and it's, it's for like extra protection in addition of that it's going to add a nice touch I am going to be tying this ute above and below above and below between all of the ropes and this will help me to get them all together and stay as a one piece on my rug Now because I leave that extra rope on the sides of the rock, um, I want to like unroll or like unbraid all of the rope and make it look like a little bit more puffy. And I really, really like how this looks on my rock. It's super easy. Um, and once I have that side, I'm going to be doing the same in the other side of the rock guys with this rug you have so many possibilities you can add a stencil and add some paint to write wherever you want on your rocks maybe like hi or goodbye or welcome and I think it's going to look so cool okay once I was done this is how my project turned out and I really 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 like it it's so beautiful so easy to do I spent about nine ropes from Dollar Tree to cover the whole mat it looks high-end um, and it's perfect for for outdoors i'm so ready for summer i just can't stop doing projects like these and i just hope that you like them
for the next project i'm going to be using this giant bucket you can get this from dollar tree and you can use this for so many things for storage for organization and i decided to make this in a like a planter so i'm going to be covering this with a rope i get this rope from walmart you can do the same using um the rope from dollar tree just i didn't have enough at home so i'm going to be using this one and i and i actually like it a lot because of the color and it is super thick so um, I'm going to be adding these, but I'm going to be mixing the rope in two different colors in two different ones just to make it a little bit more fun um, and interesting. So I'm going to be adding this other rope. It's a little bit more darker. I have this one at home for, for like a year or two um, and I really like it. I didn't have too much of this rope, so I'm going to be adding the rope in like sections intersecting the lighter one and the dark one. Um, I decide to keep the handles I think they look super nice so I'm going to be covering them with more rope so first I cover both of the handles and then I continue sticking all of the rope on the bucket and guys you can stick the rope with hot glue it, that is going to work well um, and it's so much faster and easier but in some areas I add some E6000 just to make sure that the rope is going to stick well it's going to stay strong on the outside Okay, once I stick all of the rope, this is how it's going to look and you can add any plant that you have on the outside and then cover everything well. And I forget to show you here, but I also add some holes on the bottom part of this bucket with my drill just to make sure that it, when it rains, the water goes down. So yeah, this is how the project ended up looking and I really like it. Finally, I have a really nice bucket where I have my palm and I really like how it looks. Um, these things can cost a lot, uh, but you can do it yourself, customize it and have a fun time. All of these DIYs are really, really easy to do and they are really on a budget. And I just hope that you can get some ideas and inspiration. And if you do, please give me that big thumbs up. It really helps to support this channel. Let me know in the comments which of these 10 DIY patio hacks is one of your favorites. And make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. And if you want even more patio DIY hacks, check my description box i recently post a patio hacks video so make sure that you watch that too and guys thank you so much for all the love and support see you on my next video Mwah. bye guys